nobody. See nobody. Fresh fruit in my water in my hotel lobby. Hotel Look lobby. at that. Shout out to uh, Zaris, man. For the perfect rain shoes, man. You ever need some little rain crocs? Or some little rainy or muddy, muddy day? Range day little shoes, man. These joints got good grip. They call some little jet phones, man. Got these joints from Zaz, y'all. Thank me later. You just shot that motherfucker recently. I could smell the gunpowder on it. Fresh fan, what it do, man? We at the gun range now. Getting ready to test out that <laughs> highly uh hated, but highly loved, man. Brass catcher by Fiachi, man. I said it's Fiachi. <laughs> A lot of people in the comments um, when I had dropped the short um, showing the new part had a lot of questions wrapped around the durability of it, wrapped around um, if it would actually melt, break, does it actually work, would it cause um, the firearm to jam? Well, we're here to test that out today. All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see, I just showed y'all a quick glimpse of the gun range where we at. We'll be testing this thing out on my AR pistol, my Smith & Wesson m p 15 um, my favorite uh, AR pistol, by the way, too, man. It's got a nasty trigger, man. If y'all ain't got one, you need to go get one, man. But without further ado, man, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get these first shots off. All right, guys. So look, just a quick overview of this thing. As you can see, this is their more updated um, one. This is not the one, the traditional one that wraps around on top of the um on top of the barrel right here this is the one that actually clamps on um from a post piece that you actually put on your railing system up top so let me bring that a little closer all right guys you can see there's a mount that mounts on top of the rail which locks in the brass catcher for an easy release all right guys And all you have to do here is just compress, compress that release here. It slides off the grooves and you got an easy pull off, okay? So what that looks like is this right here, guys. So what you do is you align those feed lips right there on top of the brass catcher. You compress it down like so until it locks in place, just like that, all right? So as you can see, everything is nice and sturdy. It doesn't impede on access to the trigger itself. All right, and you still can get a good purchase on the firearm, okay? All right, to release it, you just gotta compress that back down and slide it right off, okay? So y'all might notice my optic is sitting a little um, further back than what I would normally like, but I had to make sure that I can get a, enough clearance. You see where, that, where my thumb is going? Get enough clearance to be able to compress that down and slide that off, all right? So you just compress that down, slide it right off. All right, boom. So that's that. Another thing is, if you didn't want to take this whole thing off in its entirety, you got another option, which is the zip on the bottom where you can just drop the shells. All right, so once the shells actually build up, you got that zip at the bottom, pull that zipper back, and boom, everything falls out. Going hot, boss. Tell them about the gun line, boss. You step outside the gun line without my permission, you will be shot. Ah. All right. Definitely got some hot brand sitting down in there. It's collected. No malfunction so far.
All right, guys, so here we go. We got hot brand sitting in there. We're gonna make sure that it's getting good contact with that mess to ensure that it's actually doing its job, all right? So as you can see, I actually, I smell the hot brass, but I don't smell the smell of burning nylon or burning material. So I already can tell you now that it's not affecting the material at all. all right? And then another thing is, it's not a closed off brass catcher, so it's ventilated. So you will have a more, I guess, more rapid cooling than an actual closed off um, brass catch, okay? Might retain a little bit of heat because there's no ventilation going to it. Since this one is actually vented, um, you can see that it's, you know, helping cool it down. And this is top of the morning, man. So it's really cool outside. So this is actually helping it as well too. So that's just something to account for, that, that ventilation able to cool that brass down, okay? So I can still feel the heat from the brass. Again, no burning material. I don't see any holes. I don't see anything affected. Um, the firearm function flawlessly, no hiccups, no jams. Nothing got caught up in the top. All right, y'all, so let's just demonstrate how we can also drop that brass. I showed you the quick release and how simple that was to just take the whole contraption off. And then now look, there you go. So now you can collect these because again, the purpose of having a brass catcher is if you're into doing your own reloads, this just keeps the brass from hitting the ground and getting damaged. And you're able to salvage the spent shell casings to do your reloads, all right? So here you go. See what I'm saying? So now you have a perfect spent shell case. So we're gonna reinstall this thing. And again, like I said, it's just super easy, man. So let's go ahead and spin this thing one more time. And I think we'll pretty much close out the video off that, man. Y'all can make your own conclusions after that. Listen, a lot of people are going to always be like, oh, it's Fiachi or whatever. You need to take that off. That's garbage. Listen, if it works, it works. But there is some cheap stuff that's actually quality, man. You could get away with saving a couple dollars in an exchange, you know, for, for, for some quality, man. Go for it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. You know, I'm always rapping when I'm in the car. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. We going up. Fresh Fam is constantly growing, man. Constantly growing. I appreciate y'all, man. Till the next time. Peace.